CSAC was the first contract I ever signed. I feel like I say this every year, but it means more to me with every year that goes by. So I was 18 years old. Um, before, honestly, I signed my publishing deal, I signed a contract with CSAC. So it means the world to me to be a part of this family and to be here to celebrate all the amazing writers. Heartbreak was all about how a lot of times when you're in between relationships or just getting out of a relationship that it's great to give your heart a break. You know, kind of take a little breather, get yourself right. You don't need to have anybody to be the most confident you. John Carter Cash had a great idea for taking some of the lyrics that his dad had left behind and having uh, current songwriters uh, write melodies to these lyrics. And so without having Johnny there as a reference, you basically had to take the meter of the song, you had to sort that out, and you had to find a key and find a chord progression that works and, uh, and kind of give life to this song. And uh, he had he, uh, me and Willie and Chris Christofferson, uh, Jewel, and uh, even Chris Cornell before he passed away uh, did one of these. And, I met uh, Ginger and, and Folds of Honor a few years back in Minneapolis and just fell in love. Again, kind of became an instant like family, you know. Uh, what they do and how they do it was just, uh, it was perfect and it was, uh, and it was a natural fit. And so uh, I loved it enough to, and, and felt passionate enough about it. It's so, so easy to get fired up for Folds of Honor uh, that we started a chapter here. Uh, last year uh, in Nashville, and man, I mean, it's just something that we can't we can't do enough for, you know. And uh, uh, I, I think Ginger actually got to make it here tonight, uh, so you'll get to meet Ginger Ravelli and hear her story, and uh, and it's and it really kind of explains itself that way. It's uh, it's a little extra special, you know. I mean, I you know, my granddaddy jumped out of an airplane into the Battle of the Bulge in World War II. My uncles were in Vietnam. I've got a lot of a lot of family that that I grew up learning about that you know through their stories and through you know what it made of them and what they learned through it and um, so to sing a song like I Drive Your Truck um, tonight is going to be extra special and I just going to meet because I thought about my granddad the very first time I heard that song and so it's going to probably take me back to the moment you know when I first heard that song and so I think it, it's fitting um, and uh, and I'm on, very honored to, to be a part of it at all. Amazing. They've been so supportive. Even before I was CSAC, when I first moved to town, they've always treated me like family. So, really, really honored to be here. Uh, it's awesome. Just happy to be over here. It's a cool company run by awesome people, and everyone that works here is awesome. We wanted to write a really good love song, and I think we did all right. And I guess the inspiration was Kane's wife at this point. So, don't tell him I said that. <laughs> I'm so grateful for them just supporting the, the copyrights and the songs and making sure songwriters are supported and you know advocated for so they've been a great partner with me. Jamie Johnson uh, is, is a master at what he does and you know I believe in his music I believe, uh, have since I first heard his music but um, working with him on the Forever Words project and uh, the song that he 
uh, recorded for the project, Spirit Rider. Uh, ever since we sat down together, it has been um, a miracle process. And so uh, I believe what Jamie's done, you know, with the music, and I can't wait to hear uh, his performance tonight and be a part of his performance. We are so proud of your involvement with Folds of Honor. It's truly a remarkable organization doing important work for the families of the fallen and disabled service members, including providing educational scholarships. In fact, Lee has been personally involved with the Folds of Honor Foundation and played a key role in establishing the Folds of Honor chapter in Nashville. Earlier this year, he was nominated for AIMP Nashville Rising Songwriter of the Year Award and has celebrated two number ones in the past year. There is no one in Nashville who works harder or is more talented, and this town is so lucky to have him as a creator. And we have a very special guest bringing out his trophy tonight. It's his mother, Jane. And all of his brothers are also here, too, so you guys come on up here as well. Thank you, CSAC, for all you do all year, especially tonight. Um, I'm getting a call. Hold on one second. I got to ignore it. Oh, it's Kane, it's Kane Brown. Hold up. Hold up. Kane, I can't talk right now. Hey, I'll call you back. He's been calling the whole time. Sorry. This is Lee Crable. Lee served in Iraq for a year. Please stand up and give him a hand for Veterans Day. Thank you, Lee.
features a piece of commission art, especially for the Nashville.